our next presenter is Andrea Cartile from the Gina Cody School of Engineering and Computer Science. Andrea is pursuing a PhD in mechanical engineering. Her thesis title is a knowledge management framework for aircraft design and development. And her three minute thesis title is computer models for the airplane design process. Good luck, Andrea. Many of us grow up dreaming of science fiction, but what are some of the reasons we can't yet book tickets on an air taxi? Designing new airplanes is expensive, costing over $7 billion and taking well over 10 years to develop. So why does it cost so much and take so long? A commercial aircraft has over 700,000 parts and contains millions of lines of programming code. It's worked on by companies from all over the world involving thousands of experts across many different disciplines. And this process generates a monumental amount of information from 3D drawings to programs to process to meeting minutes and emails. And by law, airplanes have to be safe. And part of that safety is ensuring that all of this information is linked or traceable. As airplanes have become more complicated, we've developed software tools to try and help manage this information. But we still have several challenges, one of which is that the software tools have difficulty communicating with one another. An everyday example of this would be if I were to make a social media post on LinkedIn, Twitter, and Instagram, and I would make a mistake. I would then have to go into each individual platform and correct that mistake one by one because these platforms are not linked. This may be manageable for social media, but when we're dealing with 700,000 parts, this can get very complicated very quickly. What I should be able to do is press one big button and get access to any piece of information on an ongoing airplane design program. That technology does not yet exist. And to get there, we need a better understanding of how the airplane design process works. So similarly to how a house requires a blueprint before it is built, a software tool often requires a computer model to tell us what the software needs to do and how the software needs to do it. My research aims to bring us closer to that big button reality to get access to any piece of information on an ongoing airplane design program uh, by having a better understanding of how the airplane design process works today. I'm using two main modeling techniques. The first is called ontological modeling, which is used to structure language and knowledge within a field. And the second is called unified modeling language or UML, which is a popular design technique uh, used to create the blueprint or architecture for a software solution. I'm working with two aerospace companies where I get to check my models against ongoing airplane design programs to make sure that my models are correct and useful for the aerospace design uh, industry. I'm also, I'm one, of the reason, one of the areas my research will likely impact is will help add structure to a complex process and help integrate tools like AI into the aircraft design process. And who knows, maybe one day we'll go where no person has gone before. 